Hey guys, welcome to our channel and in today's video I will show you when and how to use the table rate shipping plugin for WooCommerce. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. All right, so let's take this Josh Frog's uh, shop for example, that's an e-commerce shop and they have different kind of products. One product is dry good and the other product is live animal and obviously they need different kind of shipping. The dry goods can be delivered after a few days and the live shipping must be delivered overnight. And obviously overnight shipping is way more expensive. And we can also see here at the header that they are offering free shipping if your dry goods exceed $100 or your live uh, items exceed $300. So we will learn how to do these two scenarios as well. All right, so to achieve that, we will need to install WooCommerce add-on called Table Rate Shipping. You can get it from the official website for $99 or from us, the exact same plugin for only $4.99. You have all the links in the description box down below. Alternatively, if you have our plugin manager installed on your WordPress website, just go to Plugins for WP and search for it over here, Table Rate Shipping. And install it by clicking on Install. And then activate it. Great, once you activated the plugin, we'll need to create shipping classes. Because we have two different products, one of them is a live animal like this lizard, and the other one is dry good, just like this water ball. We'll need to create classes and set the class for each of these products. And let me show you what I mean by that. So first let's go to WooCommerce, into settings, and into the shipping tab. Over here we will move on to the shipping classes and we need to create two classes. One will be dry and the other one will be live. So let's start with the dry, we'll call it dry, click on save and add another shipping class, we'll call it live, just like so, and we'll save or click enter once again. Excellent. Once we created the two classes, we need to assign products to those classes. So first of all, let's navigate to the lizard that we have here, we'll click on edit product, we'll scroll down and here under the shipping tab we will change the class to live and we'll click on update. We'll do the same for the water ball but this time we'll set the shipping class to dry. So let's do it together, here under the shipping tab we will change it to dry just like so and click on update. Excellent. Now we have one dry item and one live item. Now let's go back to our plugin and here we'll go into shipping zones and we need to create at least one shipping zone, which is where would you like to ship the products to? You can set as many shipping zones as you would like, but to simplify the process, I'm only going to create one. So I will click on add shipping zone and I will call it United States lower 48. And I will choose the locations from here, this list. I will just search for United States and choose it. Once we did, we will click on add shipping method and we will change the flat rate to the table rate. And we have this option thanks to the plugin that we just installed. So let's click on add shipping rate and we can see that it was added to our shipping zone. And now we'll need to click edit in order to edit the prices and the conditions we would like to set. I will keep the method title as is, but I will change the tax status to none so we can work with uh, complete numbers in the cart. Now let's scroll down into the table rates section. And here we need to create the conditions. So we need to create four lines, two for the dry goods and two for the live goods. Let's go back really quick to our example to remind you that the dry goods will cost you only a few bucks to ship while the live goods will cost you way more to ship and they also offering free shipping if you exceed $100 or $300 based on the class. So let's go back to our website to create the same conditions. Here we'll click on add shipping rate. We will change the class to dry. We'll set the condition to be price. And here is the 
cart total. If the cart total is less than a hundred dollars, we'll charge them eight dollars for shipping, and we'll label it dry under hundred dollars. So they will have a description of what they are paying for. Let's add another rate. Here we'll change it to dry once again. Also, we will set the condition to price. But now, if the if it's minimum hundred dollars, hundred and penny. We won't charge them any shipping, so we'll leave it at zero, and we'll give a description, dry, free, over $100. Excellent. Now let's do the same for the live goods. We'll add another row, call it live. We'll set the condition to price. If the order is less than $300, we'll charge them $20, because it's overnight, it's way more expensive. And we'll describe it as live, under $300. However, if they purchase above $300, let's say 310, the shipping will be zero with a description of live free over $300, just like so. Excellent, so the table is ready. Let's scroll all the way to the bottom, click on save changes and we can start adding the product to the cart and test it. So let's go to our uh, Lizard, which is the live product. We'll click on Add to Cart and we'll go to our Water Bowl and click on Add to Cart. Now let's click on View Cart to visit the cart. Now pay attention guys that the cart total is less than $100. So therefore it charges $8 for the shipping because it's less than the first threshold we set, which is $100. It makes sense if you would like to ship both items in one box. But still, even if you need to ship it in one box, you will need to charge them for the more expensive shipping because you will have to ship it overnight regardless because of the live animal. So let's change that by setting different priority. We would like to charge them only once, but for the higher price. We'll go back to our table and into the class priorities section. Because all the class priorities have the same number, which is 10. The table will follow the default first, then the dry and then the live. If we'd like it to follow the live first, you will need to reduce the priority to below 10 or below the other classes, let's say nine. Let's go back to the cart. Right now it's charging them $8. And if we set it up correctly, it will charge them only one price, but the more expensive price, which is 20 bucks. And as you can see, it works great. Now, what happened if you would like to ship these items in two different boxes. So for example, the water bowl will be shipped in its own box, but because it didn't pass the $100 threshold, you would still like to charge the $8 for it. We can also do that. Let's go back to our table and here we'll change the calculation type from per order to calculated rates per shipping class. We'll scroll down, click save, and we'll go back to our cart. And instead of 20 now, it will show us 28 because it will charge $20 for the live shipping and $8 for the dry shipping. And as you can see over here, it's showing 28 and it's working perfectly fine. All right, guys. So thank you very much once again for watching this video. Please let me know if you have any questions regarding this process. Please like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way. I will see you all in the next video.